Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. Welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards and see what's in store with a message from Spirit. All right. This week, I'm using the Spirit Animal Oracle. It seems from the comments, many of you love this deck, so that's perfect. Okay, let's see what's in store today. While I'm giving this a good shuffle, I do want to say... Uh, number one, check out the podcast from yesterday, especially if you're an entrepreneur and you're really trying to find yourself in what you're putting out there. You definitely want to listen to what Lindsay Hindle has to share. Number two, today is a new music day. So at the end of this video, you will hear uh, my latest song, uh, Inspired by Spirit. So do share, subscribe, uh, like as it helps with the algorithms and all of that stuff that you all know. Um, okay, let's get into the cards here. Okay. Spirit is incredibly quiet today. Like normally anytime I shut my eyes while I'm shuffling, I hear them or I hear them before. They're extremely quiet. Let me just see what's going on first. Kind of like me knocking at the door and being like, hello, anyone, anyone there? I'm just going to do that. Hold on. Okay, this is fascinating. What they showed me what they showed me is these two bubbles, these two spheres, and one is bigger than the other. We are in the bigger one, meaning like the current timeline, collective timeline. They're showing me a bubble right beside ours that could either uh, move in and connect in, kind of like when two bubbles join and become one bigger bubble kind of thing, can either do that or can dissipate. And they're saying a lot of their attention right now is on this secondary, smaller timeline, smaller bubble than ours. And what they're trying to do is prevent it from merging with this bubble right now because we are actually on a better timeline right now even though if we look out and see a lot of the chaos we can think this is a horrible timeline or we can look out and see the goodness and think this is a good timeline in general what they're saying is this is actually a greater more positive timeline than the one that's trying to connect in and so they're actually those in the higher realms, like the angelic realms in the interdimensional realms, are trying to move and separate this timeline from this one so that it doesn't connect in because it's not in our highest good. And what's very interesting is they're saying that this will actually lead into a lot of the insights that are going to come through in the uh, November energy update, which I have not done yet. Obviously, it's not near November. Close, but not quite. I usually try to do it like as close as possible. So very interesting. That's why they're rather quiet. So uh, let's see what messages are in the cards. They will bring it through in the cards very much, but they are also quite busy in the other realms. So let's see what messages are able to come through in the cards today. And pardon me, I have a little bit of a cold. I've got two kids homesick today, so I'm trying my best not to catch it myself. All right. What do we have? I love this. I love this. I love this. Okay. This is so interesting. I personally have been seeing a lot about squirrels lately. I don't know about all of you. This could just be a me thing, but I've been seeing squirrels a ton and getting this message a ton. It's neat that it's coming out now for the collective. The squirrel spirit says, believe in yourself. And this squirrel is like a mighty capable little being and it knows what it needs to do to create a home, create a sanctuary, create a safe space over the winter, and that's gathering what it needs, right? It's also sitting on one of the most beautiful symbols in spirit is the acorn, which is absolute untapped potential. The capacity for that one acorn to create an entire massive tree resides all within this. And that essentially is what resides within each and every one of us, is that absolute untapped potential with the capacity to create something massive and long lasting and that's what you're doing and so i love that this message here and it ties into sort of what they're saying with this timeline we're in now and this other one that's trying to merge the more we stand in our power in this way 
of really believing in ourselves and acquiring the things that help support that in our lives, the more we hang on to this higher timeline, this better timeline. So beautiful way to start. Okay, squirrel. And I wonder again in the comments, I would love to hear if many of you are seeing squirrels or getting squirrel symbolisms as well. I'd be curious. The next one is the vulture spirit. And I love this card because it says nothing is wasted. And that's very true of the vulture, right? We all know the vultures are scavengers and they will clean up the decay, right? They clean it all up. This is really something that's so beautiful right now in the reflections of your, they're calling it in the echoes of your past, is to recognize that nothing is wasted. Even the times in which you feel like maybe something was wasted or you wasted your time or you wasted that relationship, you wasted whatever the rest of that sentence is, you actually didn't because it gave you the insights of who you are now, right? It gave you the capacity now to truly believe in yourself. And so there may be for some of you this week too, in this energy that we're in this week is this, this, I want to say ability, capacity, moments of reflecting on your past and recognizing that not everything is wasted. And sometimes you can have some really beautiful aha moments in that, like where you're just like, wow, I never looked at that situation that way and look at what it's provided for me now. I would have never been where I am now had I not had that and I've never seen it in that light before, like these beautiful aha moments. So just notice in your pondering or reflection how things are not wasted. Okay. The next one here, the dog spirit, this card always makes me smile. Be loyal to what you love. And that really is the energy this week. Be loyal to what you love. Believe in yourself. Create the reality you want. The weaving of the spider like we got, right? Like be loyal to you. That is what spirit is always saying is the most important. Yet we think that is selfish because we've been taught that that's selfish. But the way in which spirit is recommending this energy or trying to remind us that it is within us is, is a honoring of the self, honoring in a way of reverence and worthiness and awe and wonder and being loyal to the boundaries and the loyal to the asks and the desires of self. That's not selfish because you're not doing it over and above others to put others down. Right? That's not the motivation that they're speaking to in this, this energy. It's just about honoring who you are, the entirety of it. The good, the bad, the perceived wasted, <laughs> and the not. All with the energy of the dog spirit. Because really, if you're loyal to you, you create an energy field that helps uplift everybody around you. You really do. And you don't have to do this with perfection, but with like a clear intent to want to. And if you do that, your reality and everything really starts to shift. So these are some really beautiful questions that are being asked of us is, you know, looking through those echoes of the past and noticing what has shifted, being loyal to who you are now and your boundaries and your desires and your wants and believing that you deserve it because you absolutely do. So I will leave that with all of you for today. Thank you so much as always for joining me and do check out the music. I want to say, my music is absolutely 100% spirit inspired. The sounds that come through, they come through like a channel, like the way in which I would channel, it just comes through a sound. I don't prepare what it's going to be. It, it becomes what it is through my voice. So the music is really intended to bring up for you whatever is, is needed, whether it's celebration, whether it's release, whether it's, um, peace and grounding, whatever it is, an astral journey, it is, is channeled in this language, which is sound, which is completely so unlimited for it to be whatever it is supposed to be for you. So I encourage you to have a listen, close your eyes and allow it to take you wherever it needs to. All right, everyone have a beautiful day and I will see you all tomorrow.